Welcome to another Cadets Create project video. In this video, we're going to be making a water jug carrier. Here's what you'll need to complete the project. Cut five pieces of paracord to five feet lengths. Set these aside for now. Using the remainder of your cord, fold it in half and push the bend through the cord lock. Cinch your cord lock loop around the neck of your bottle. Roll the remaining cord into a hank to avoid tangling. Now take the five foot pieces and tuck them through the neck loop. Cinch the cord lock tight. Your five tucked cords should be pulled through so that they form 10 even strands. Spread the tucked cords out so they are equal distance apart from each other. And now we're going to perform the snake knot. Take the left strand of one pairing and cross it over the right strand of the pairing to the left. Loop that same strand behind and back to the left. Make sure the working end loops up and not down. Take the opposite strand and pull behind and to the right. Take it over and through the left loop. Slowly tighten your knot. The spacing of the net is up to you, but keep each knot level with the one next to it. Move on to the next pairing and make another snake knot. Again, be sure the knots are level with one another. Continue the snake knots around the top row until complete. Start a new row below the first. Remember, use strands from two adjacent groups. Keep knots level, and you can use a ruler to keep space between knots consistent. Continue knotting until you have reached the bottom of the bottle. Take the right strand from one pairing and loop it through the welded steel ring. The cow hitch. Finish the hitch by looping the strand through the opposite way and feeding the working end through the resulting loop. Tighten the completed hitch and adjust the length of your standing end so that the ring sits just past the center of the base of your bottle. Make one more cow hitch by forming two underhand loops in opposite directions. Pull tight after each loop. Take the strand to the left and make a single cow hitch. Do not make a second hitch with this strand. Continue this pattern until all strands are tied to the ring. Cut each strand a little less than a quarter inch from the knots. Don't let the end slip out. Melt the ends and flatten them against the knot with the blade of the scissors. Help from counselors may be needed for this portion. You have completed your net. To form the carry strap, take both ends of the bottleneck loop and make them equal length. Form the core of your strap by looping the ends of both strands through the opposite side of your neck loop. At the loop, make a cobra weave. For the cobra weave, take the right strand and cross it over to the left. Take the left strand and bring it straight down and over the right strand. Take the same strand and bring it under all and through the right loop. Pull both strands to tighten. This time start with the left strand and repeat the process. Do one more starting on the right strand this time for a total of three cobra weave moves. Cut the left and right strands a quarter inch from the weave. Melt the ends and flatten to the weave with the scissors blade. Now find the center of your strap. Begin your cobra weave about 8 inches from the center. Take the two strands that were cut and even them. Use a simple double overhand knot to start cobra weaving again. Perform cobra weaving until you run out of paracord, or your two sides are even. You can release your overhand knot once you have completed a few passes of the weave. Now cut, melt, and flatten all remaining cord ends. And there you have it, you have a water jug carrier. Alright, hope you enjoyed this project, and keep living for Jesus everyone.